I'm about to lock myself into each of the five regions in Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I'm not allowed to leave until I catch a shiny in each one. No outbreaks, only fully random shinies across the game. How long will it take to escape all five areas? Days? Weeks? Maybe just a few hours. I, I don't know. Today, it's time to find out. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, I guess if you guys are seeing this video, that means some cool stuff happened. So let's go ahead and start it where it all began. And here we are in the first area of Legends Arceus, the Obsidian Fieldlands. And this is going to be my home for a while because I'm not leaving, I'm not going to any other areas, I'm not doing any outbreaks until I catch a shiny right here in the overworld. So as full odds as it gets in Legends Arceus, I'm hoping that since I have the shiny charm, it'll help a little bit, but it's still probably gonna be rough. So the rules I've set for myself are pretty simple. If I find a shiny and catch it, that counts as a victory for the area and I can move on to the next area. However, if I find a shiny and I fail it, I really hope I don't fail a shiny in Legends Arceus, but if I do, uh, it doesn't count, so I'll have to find another one. Honestly, I was kind of just curious as to how long this would take. I mean, five shinies in a row is pretty crazy, but I mean, it's Legends Arceus, so it's not nearly as hard as like some of the OG games. And I mean, I've been resetting Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the past like two weeks, full odds, and that's, I, I needed a break. And is this a break? Five full odd Legends Arceus shinies? I don't, I don't think this is a break. All right, here's the deal. If the next set of spawns in this distortion is a shiny, I will instantly use a Master Ball in every video from now on. So all my videos will be like 20 seconds long and that's it. Ooh, that scared me a little bit, but that's an alpha. I'm good. I can keep forgetting my Master Ball. All right, it's, it's been a little bit. I've been running around the same areas and I, okay, I thought I was gonna get lucky. I thought I would instantly get a shiny and seem really cool. And now I, I just seem normal. I just seem like a normal person. Why can't I just be lucky all the time? Why is the world so cruel? You know, I actually, when I went here last time I could, whoa. What was that? Who was that? Who was that? I heard the shiny noise, right? Wait. There he is. Yeah, Ultra Ball is definitely the look with the yellow. That's gonna look nice. Huh? What? Did it just climb over the tree? Oh my God, my heart. For one second, I thought it was over. I thought I was gonna have to keep looking. I thought it disappeared. Oh, that would have been. <gasps> All right, so it's gonna eat the raspberry. We're gonna get a higher catch rate. We're gonna throw this Ultra Ball at it. We're gonna sneak up. It's gonna instantly see me. Okay. We're gonna glob it. Plans changed. We got him. Whoa. Okay, it looks really nice. This is actually a pretty good shiny. I've, I don't think I've ever seen this shiny. Easy. That didn't take that long. That was, that was not bad. Wow, for some reason I was not ready to see a shiny right there. I, would, I had just literally just finished complaining. And that's all you gotta do is just complain and you get a shiny, so there we go. Let's find an empty box and there we go. Number one, look at him. Beauty fly, shiny. He is handsome. Look at those colors. Look at that mouth. Sheep. What a cutie. Oh, so that only took me like two hours maybe? That's, I, that's a win. I, that's not really bad at all. I, it, it felt kind of like a long time just because I was literally just going in circles like a drone the whole entire time. But that, all in all, two hours for a shiny, full odds, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh. 
And we're back to a place that I know all too well. Oh god! <laughs> the Crimson Marlins. Yeah, sorry, that was just me sneezing. I'm not really sure why I made it sound like I was getting killed. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I've spent a lot of my playtime here in the Crimson Marlins, mainly because I hunted Shiny Spiritomb before Massive Mass Outbreaks, so I would check the odd keystone for the one in one bajillion chance that Spiritomb would be Shiny in its static spawn. I'm a psychopath. I don't I don't know why I did it. I did it for weeks. There's something wrong with me. Imagine we got a Shiny Unknown for the second one. That would be sick. I actually got a full odds Shiny Unknown before Massive Mass Outbreaks, and I didn't realize how cool that was, and I've never seen one since. And I think it's an F. F because we're not getting a shiny for 10 hours, probably. Ooh, okay. I actually want to try to get a shiny from a tree, even though I never really check the shaking trees because it's just freaking Burmese everywhere. But I don't care. I'm going to try to get one. That would be really cool. Ooh, Cherubi? This is... Whoa, isn't that rare? I, I don't know the rates, but I'm pretty sure that I've only ever seen, like, two of these in trees. And I've checked... I had to check a lot for the decks. Interesting. Not shiny though, so see ya. So I'm not usually one to be mad about getting a shiny, like ever, because obviously a shiny is a shiny. That's great. But see that ghastly down there? Uh, I've gotten that one shiny probably three times, and there's just so many in this area, and I've spent so long hunting in here that I have like 15. So, and and you know what shiny Gengar looks like. It It's horrible. <laughs> it's just so bad. So... That would be a little upsetting, but I would I would take it because I'm kind of ready to get out of here. It's been a couple hours and I am kind of tired of seeing all this mud everywhere and... Oh. No! <laughs> oh, I deserve that. I deserve to get another one. Just give me him. <laughs> I, it was uh, 45 seconds ago I was complaining about not getting a Ghastly. I, that's 100% deserved. I, I needed to get punished for complaining about Ghastly. I'm sorry. You're great. Welcome home, Ghastly number 73. Woo! Let's put him next to our handsome man, Beautifly. And that's, that's the second. We can move on. That also probably took like maybe two hours. So this isn't bad. This, it, at this rate, I could finish in... Two times five, think 10 hours. Ah, also I just realized that this Ghastly is a girl. So we have a male Beautifly and a female Ghastly. They're gonna be a great pair. They look just alike. Oh yeah, and I also have an Alpha Ghastly. So I've reunited mother and daughter. Look at them. So I was talking to these Ghastlies about my new YouTube channel and they were pretty interested and they were asking me if I've like yelled at you guys to like the video yet. And I was telling them no, cause when people do that, when I watch videos, it gets kind of annoying. But they were saying that I had to do it, and that's like what everybody does, so I guess I'll just do it, so... Make sure to sm- Alright, Cobalt Coastlands, what are you bringing us today? I'm hoping we can get a lucky one, but... Realistically, it's getting kind of late for me, so this is probably going to go into day two, but two shinies so far in one day, I, that's, I feel like that's pretty lucky, so I'm happy. wonder if we're going to get any alphas. That would be, that would be cool. That alpha tentacruel, oh my goodness, shiny tentacruel is so nice. I'm probably biased because I love purpley, pinkish colors on shinies, but mm, that's the next one. Burmy. Burmy. Let me guess. Burmy. No one will ever guess what's coming out of this tree. Oh! <laughs> wow, well that surprised me. Um, I, this has to be rare. I'm gonna catch him. I, I don't even know if I've seen many Wormadams from trees at all. And I've definitely never seen an Alpha Wormadam. So this guy's getting zapped and capped. Welcome to the party, Wormadam. You're going in the box and never coming out. You guys want to know a fun fact? You can fly over the lava this way, or I guess to the right of the lava this way without having to go around where all the magmars are and stuff. See? And we're out. And then you can check the nine tails. And yeah, I bet a lot of people probably knew that. And yeah, I didn't know that for a long time. All right, I'm just gonna keep it real. I've been sitting on this fish, swimming around, looking for shinies in this area for like 
I don't know, eight hours today. It's day two, by the way. Uh, this is getting rough. I have not seen or heard any shinies. I'm starting to get to the point where even a Burmy would be okay. I, I, I just need something. I need to get out of here. Oh, space-time distortion? This could be it. This is it. I'm willing a shiny. I'm speaking a shiny into existence. I'm willing a shiny. <sighs> this game sucks. I'm going back to RuneScape. Oh my god. Clover. I don't know why, but I get like personally offended when those sisters catch me and I don't realize it. Ooh, that, uh. You know, next time I come up with a dumb video idea like this, I'm just gonna upload the raw clip. It's gonna be like 14 hours long, me talking to myself every like 35 minutes, and then a Burmy or two every, I don't know, five minutes. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Get ready for that one, guys. That's gonna be exciting. <gasps> yes! Finally! He's pink! Yes! I'm free! Look at him! Look at his mustache! You saved me. You saved me. He's not aggressive, so I'm thinking that... No, he can't run. Well, I know the tiny one can, but let's... Get him. Was that a tiny? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. He's aggro. He's aggro. Let's fight him. Man, I was thinking this was never gonna end. That was probably one of the longest I've gone after getting the shiny charm without seeing a just a r random shiny while actively playing. Okay. Number three! Ah! God, this video is gonna be long. This is only the third one. I still have two more to go. Okay, please let these last two be faster. Our boy. Dude, I had no clue you could move him around and look at him in the Pokedex thing. That's... <laughs> Number three. Beautifly Ghastly, and now Celio. And it's a girl. She's adorable. And I love her mustache. Yep, I was gonna say the same thing. So all in all right now, I think we're at around 15 hours-ish. Uh, that Celio took way too long. Um, that was rough. It's day three now. There's still a chance to clean it up and get all five within 24 hours, but we're gonna need to get pretty lucky. Uh, we haven't had a really lucky one yet, and you know, since we got unlucky in the last one, that means that we're gonna get lucky in this one, right? That's how it works, please. So this area is definitely my favorite to hunt because there's so many alphas and just so many locations to fly by. And you know what? I'm gonna share my route that I've crafted for this area specifically. It's given me a ton of shinies, alpha shinies, and for all of you still watching, you guys are the real ones. So just for you, I'm gonna show you guys this with a banger. First, you wanna start at the summit camp because it gives you the highest elevation. Then, make sure it's nighttime because you'll find more alphas. Head to the right and check the Miss Magius alpha spawn. Not shiny? Sucks for you. Let's keep going. Over this hill. There's a Rhyperior down here and it's alpha. There's also some Ghastlies and Chimekos. Once you've checked those, go ahead and climb back up around where you started at the summit camp. Head to the right and past these ruins where you'll find the alpha Luxray that you've seen 5,000 times and it's never been shiny. Past that, dip and dive into these ruins where you'll find some purple bats, ghosts, balls, and rocks with big noses. Remember those purple bats from two seconds ago? There's more up here, and there's a big one with glowing red eyes. Guard Trump your favorite shiny? Well, if it is, you're crazy, but you're also in luck because there's a gibble and an alpha good bite here. Keep diving and, oh look, more purple bats and a big blue bat with red eyes. Follow this path and you'll find an alpha probopass, some ronzongs, and, of course, more purple bats. Keep following the path and you'll run into a lake. You'll find a scyther, a gyarados, and some sneasels. Now, yeet yourself over this wall and check the alpha golem. Tokyo drift your way back 180 degrees and then go down the hill. Here, you'll find a whole lot of ghosts. They're not that scary. If you turn left, you'll find some fish. They're cute. Our last stop is through this canal into this opening. You'll find some roselias, clefairies, and an alpha clefable. <sighs> That's it. Any questions? There will be a quiz. Man, this has been a decent amount of time invested into this video, and hopefully we can find something soon. <laughs> How did that kill me? Oh, 
I heard that. I barely heard that. Whoa. <gasps> Timeco! Yay! That was that was fast. That was like 30 minutes, maybe. If that. Let okay. Okay, okay. It can run away. It can 100 percent run away. I need to be very careful. Dude. This is such an underrated shiny. This this is probably one of my top underrated shinies. This is such a nice color. Like the mint green, gold. Ooh, this is a good one. This, I think he has a good catch rate. Yup. Yes! Uh... This has to be one of my most wanted shinies from this area. So I am ecstatic. Yes, look at that smile. Look how vibrant it is. This is a great shiny. I remember reading some random YouTube comment years ago on some video that Chimeko's shiny was really bad, and ooh, that one, that was infuriating. Look how good it is. Whoever you are, you're wrong. Shiny number four, maybe 30, 45 minutes later, not bad. Like, come on, this shiny is awesome. This is, this is the biggest W so far today. Well, Chimeko, let's take care of business. The last one. And we have finally arrived into the Alabaster Icelands and man, it's been a journey. But it's not over yet. We still have one more shiny to find, and I'm really excited because there's some good Pokemon in this. And specifically, my favorite Pokemon is in this area, Frostless. And the Alpha Spawn, funny story, I hunted her shiny before I even beat the game. No shiny charm, no anything. I just went to Ice Peak Arena and did a little route, checked the Alpha Frostless, and did that for like three days and got really lucky. So I'll, I guess I'll just show you what I did. So pretty much. I would just fly around here like I'm doing now, check all the overworld Pokemon just in case there is a random shiny or even an alpha shiny. There's a lot of snow runs around here, and I was just kind of hoping that maybe I would find a random alpha shiny snow run when I was playing through the game, and I didn't, but I did end up finding the Frostless, which is amazing. But yeah, there's like a bunch of Apoms and Licky Lickies and stuff. Actually, this is the first Pokemon that I ever failed, shiny Pokemon, an Apom, which was right around here. But yeah, uh, I actually think you can check if the Frostless is shiny above ground. I'm pretty sure you can hear like her scream and you can hear the shiny noise from over... Wait. What? Was that a gibble? I haven't even cut the clip. It's been like a minute. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I don't even know what to say. That that actually scared me so bad. At first I thought it was the Frostless from Overground. That freaked me out. Oh my god, okay. I need to catch this. Uh, can you Thunder Wave? Is he, isn't he ground? Does Thunder Wave work? Okay, I'm an idiot. I, I can't think right now. That's I, I'm in shock. Gibble in a great ball. Yes. Wow. God, well this this area is gonna be a jarring difference from the last because the last I'm probably gonna do a big edit and stuff about the route that I've taken. And this one, I don't even think I cut, I didn't cut the clip at all. I just started recording and then by the time I was done talking, the sh I'd already gotten the shiny. So it's just gonna be a giant clip, one clip. <laughs> that's, that's okay. We got a Gibble and Bless up, it's not a Garchomp, so the shiny still looks cool. Thank you for ending this quickly, Gibble. Well, you guys ready? One, two, three, three, hello? Three, four, five. Five shiny Pokemon. I think it took 16 hours-ish. Uh, most of those being Celio, but yeah, we actually did it, so. I don't recommend this, but it was extremely fun. So I do and I don't recommend it. If you're crazy, you should do it. If this was one of the first videos of mine you've watched, check out this video. You might like it. This was kind of different from my normal videos, but it was a lot of fun. And if you guys have any more ideas or challenges for me, let me know. Uh, I'm ready to stop though, so <laughs> see you.
see you guys. Thanks for watching.